Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500. It is the Bison Edition. It's a ZR2. What's cool about this truck is that the Bison Edition partners with American Expedition Vehicles, or AEV. You're going to see a lot of AEV products on this vehicle because this vehicle is designed for off-road. It's got great towing capacity. It offers a lot, and there's a lot of competitors in this marketplace. So we're going to go through this vehicle, show you some of the cool things that makes the Bison ZR2 very awesome. We have heard there's going to be a diesel engine, that Duramax, which I would really like to see. At the time of getting this vehicle, we are not told that it is confirmed, so we are driving the 6.2 liter version. We'll go through all that, including under the hood. We'll take it for a ride, and we'll show you some of the cool features that makes this vehicle pretty awesome. Let's start with the front of this vehicle. You're going to see that it looks a little different. This Chevy Bowtie logo is actually smart. They didn't make it a big gigantic logo in your face. They made it about airflow because you got to keep this engine running cool. I love this aggressive black grille. Plus, you're also going to see spots for adding in winches and other aftermarket items that you want to put on this vehicle, especially if you're off-roading. This vehicle is about off-roading, so there is standard skid plates on the Bison Edition and as well as increased departure angle, and that's important. And on top of it, this vehicle is two inches higher and you've got some really cool suspension components from Multimatic, which is the same company that built the Ford GT. They build some amazing product. One of the features I really like is this big hood scoop with the 6.2 liter engine written right there, and it's black on silver in our case, and I think that looks really cool and very muscular. Another nice feature on the front end is the driving lights. I really think it helps make it a lot easier to see at night. I do like the ZR2 logo on the front of the vehicle, just reminding people that you are driving a very cool truck. Our test vehicle rides on 18-inch alloy wheels with Goodyear Wrangler tires. This is a 33-inch tire, really good for off-roading, and you wouldn't need winter tires for running through our Buffalo winters. This vehicle would be what you'd want to get through all that tough weather conditions and still have fun off-roading. The exterior styling is enhanced. Our test vehicle has a bar instead of a running board. I like it because it keeps it clean, especially for off-road purposes. The signature ZR2 badging is really nice. If you're looking at the ZR2 Bison Edition, it's $7,895. That includes the AEV front and rear bumpers, the front skid plate, the rear differential skid plate, the 18-inch AEV wheels that we just showed you, and the 18-inch aluminum spare wheel, which is important for off-roading. Transfer case skid plate, lots of AEV parts on this, including the transfer case skid plate, the fuel tank skid plate, and the rocker guards, as well as the branded floor liner. When it comes to warranty for this vehicle, it has a three or 36,000 mile warranty, but the drive line is five years or 60,000 miles and your first maintenance is free. And there's also roadside assistance, which is included in this package. I do like this Bison Edition logo that's right here on the back. Like the Buffalo, being from Buffalo, that is very cool. One of the things that's really nice is this multi-flex tailgate. This multi-flex tailgate also has the cover, which is an option you can get from the dealer or you can purchase it when you order the vehicle. And it's got the fully protected bed liner, which you should have on every truck, in my opinion. If you can't reach something in the tailgate, the multi-flex tailgate is great for accessing that because it gives you that extra space you need. But if you're gonna need a step to get inside, this comes down and then you can get up into the truck. This tailgate is great when you need to access something that's farther back in the vehicle. The weight load on this is 375 pounds. Inside the tailgate is also a power outlet as well as lights that are right inside so you can see what you're doing. While we're in the back of the vehicle, the payload capacity is 1,432 pounds. It's a 9,000 pound towing capacity. And this vehicle does come with a towing package for class three hitch. Another nice feature is there are 12 tie down spots inside the bed of this truck. The Chevy Silverado seats five people. That is a 10 way power driver's seat that is heated and ventilated. I really like the fact that GM has always had the two different areas for heating their seats. One of the first things you'll note is this headrest has the AEV logo on it with that Bison to remind you you bought a very cool truck. 
The seats have really nice bolstering on them, easy to clean materials, which is good if you're doing an off-road type of situation. Also those floor mats, AEV, a ZR2 Bison is here to remind you every time you enter and exit the vehicle. There is lumbar on this vehicle, Bose audio system speakers in the door, and I do like this cool neon green stitching that is in here. Everything is soft touch, which is important and this nice little graphics package, which is part of the interior detail next to that memory seating. In the second row, you've got, again, nice, easy to clean flooring, and the seating is for three people back here. There are two child safety harnesses, and again, that cool neon green stitching is back here in the seats as well. Really like that. One of the things that GM has that others don't is behind this seat, there is storage back here, which is really nice for hiding something that you need. In addition to this easy, clean seating, there is storage underneath and these seats do fold up, which makes it nice for bringing large items in the back of your vehicle. Our test vehicle does not have a sunroof, but it does have these push-ups, which is great for really tall passengers. In addition, there is a grip to help boost you into the vehicle if you need it. The doors again have that soft touch material as well as the neon green stitching and the Bose audio system in the door, as well as storage for large drink containers. Pockets behind both seats, as well as cup holders on the back side of the center console. In addition to heated seats, USB, different types of charging, and ventilation. Between the seats, if you've only got two passengers, you've got plenty of storage here as well, and a spot for a snack or a juice box, something like that. The new Chevy infotainment system has built-in Google, which means you get that 13.4 inch gigantic color screen, which I think was needed over past Silverados. It also includes different audio systems, which allows you to have AM and FM, which I do appreciate because you're eliminating it from some other brands. Sirius, your Bluetooth, you can get your Amazon and Google Alexa, your podcast. You can listen to the total car score on that, which is our podcast. OnStar is included with, for three years, which is a General Motors exclusive and much appreciated. One of my favorite setups. And then you have Google Maps. Easy to use. Everyone knows how to use it. Much appreciated. When it comes to the trailer towing, this includes everything about adding your trailer, making it a guest trailer, accessories, all that can be added in here and you can choose all of your profiles set up as well. Note to the right that you have your clock, which I do like, but you can also put additional information in here, including your Google Maps, depending upon where you would like to have your information. Connecting your phone, you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. General Motors has always had that. And then your audio system, which is the Bose audio system, which is quite premium for this vehicle. When it comes to cameras, as far as visibility, crystal clear cameras, down view cameras. You can also hit this again, get a different angle on that if you want. If you're loading a trailer, you want different information. That's really important for lining up your hitch. You can also get different visibility standpoints here. And then this one is directly down on your hitch. That is your class three hitch right there makes it really easy to line everything up. That's all part of visibility. But for you as a driver, if you've got a lot of things in back, all you have to do is flip your switch up top here and you have your backup camera, which General Motors is one of the first to get to market. Further down, you've got your safety features, easy to access, your lane departure warning, your park assist, your auto off, which I prefer to be off, the ability to lower your tailgate, your emergency lights, traction control, hill descent, and your locker buttons are right here, easy to access which I do appreciate, and the fact that they left an actual volume button. I do like that because not everybody has it. Your Google Assist and Google Play are in here, and you can also add your additional settings for your Wi-Fi hotspot, your Amazon Alexa, your My Chevrolet app are all right here and easy to use. Below that is your start-stop button, as well as your trailer brakes and all of your climate control, which include ventilated, heated, and I do, like I said, love the heated seats here because they can, you can get the whole seat or just the back of the seat, depending upon what you prefer for both sides, USB and USB-C charge ports, and everything is super easy to use. As far as storage, you've got storage in front of you, two cup holders, as well as your standard Prindle, super easy to use, more storage here, and this is a great spot for wireless charging, so the phone is not in your way. Inside the center console, you've got this really nice stitching i do like it very soft touch which is easy to clean as well inside you've got 
more charge ports, which is appreciated, and a very deep, well-lit center console, which is perfect for an iPad or whatever you need to hide in there. Additionally, there is storage above the glove box, which is nice, great to hide something, and a good size glove box for your owner's manual or whatever you'd like to put in there. Again, all the details are nice. Do love this neon stitching, which carries on through the door panels. Just well designed and a huge improvement for General Motors. And I do appreciate that. If you're a Chevy truck person, you want all these features, including little details like places to put your phone. I like when they think about the user and what you need. In front of you, your steering wheel is as expected from General Motors, which is good to keep it very understandable. Your adjustments for the information in front of you is here, as well as on the left side is your cruise control and some safety features and the heated steering wheel button. Moving into those gauges, you've got a lot of great information, information you would need for off-roading. Again, that information can be adjusted to all different information. And then you can adjust the left and the right side display, which is really nice. Going into your information, you can talk about some additional information you might need, transmission fluid. Again, you can fill those pages with information that you might want. And that is all really important. On the left side of the steering wheel, there is a head up display and all that information adjustments are easy to find because they're right here. Powered tilt telescoping steering wheel. And on the left side, you've got your parking brake, your different drive modes, which you can adjust, which go to off-road or terrain mode or normal mode, depending upon what you're using. Again, those adjustments are also here. And then of course your lighting, and that includes your bed lighting is right there. Under the hood for our test vehicle is a 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8 engine with 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque backed by a 10-speed automatic transmission. This includes the front and rear selectable fully locking differential auto track 2 speed transfer case and 170 amp alternator. Fuel economy 15 miles to the gallon. Towing capacity is 9,000 pounds. Inside the new ZR2 Bison Edition truck, you're going to tell right away that these new shock absorbers have made a difference in just the immediate ride quality. So they're three chamber multimatics. So they're a little different than some of the other trim levels you can get, but you're getting really nice absorption of the roadway, but also giving you really good traction, which is really important. I've been driving this vehicle for a week and I really like this 6.2 liter engine. It's sad that they don't offer the diesel, but you don't need it. As you can see, we're driving over some rough road here as we go out to my favorite little off-road spot and one of the things you'll notice is the difference in the ride of this vehicle versus the regular Silverado. It is absorbing a lot of these bumps and these ruts. Uh, and this is an old gypsum mine. That's We don't have off-road trails nearby. Unfortunately, this is the best we got. So we're going to try to utilize this for you so you can get a feel for the absorption of these three-chamber multi-matic shocks. The two-inch of rise and suspension over the regular Silverado. So there's a lot of changes to the suspension which i think really make this vehicle so much better now if you're looking at a tremor or you're looking at a trx or even a raptor completely different vehicles you need to take this one for a test drive as a comparison because they really are offering a lot and that's why they're selling these things as quick as they come in and there's the dealers are saying they're sold out because they can't get them quick enough but I have a feeling that GM's gonna make as many as they can sell because that'd be the smartest thing they can do. So keep bothering your dealer if you've been looking for one and been unable to locate one. Nice torque. We had good power on the roadway, which I liked because it is a 6.2 liter. But once we get up here, you can see that this vehicle is, oh, nice. It just grips on the gravel, just that's it. No problem whatsoever. The ZR2 suspension package is a serious off-road setup with two inches of lift, 40 millimeter DSSV dampers, which are multi-matic, paired with those unique tuned springs, and that maximizes both the front and the rear suspension travel. You got higher liftover rates when you're entering or exiting some deep ruts. It has skid plates, it has hill descent. You're gonna need a heavy duty air filter, which this vehicle has. Our 2023 Chevy Silverado Bison ZR2 edition came in at $84,900 that included destination and delivery. I'm really impressed with this truck. It has great performance, nice off-road capability, tons of legroom in the second row, 
Technology is easy to use, lots of new technology there as well. They really thought about the details by adding in all those AEV components, which people that are off-roading want to use. Little details like making the exhaust tip up so that you don't have problems with it hitting things better approach and departure angles. All of that is great, as well as the new shock absorbers from Multimatic. Those three chamber shock absorbers really pick up that absorption, not just on the road, but also off-road. This vehicle really offers a lot. This vehicle competes with not just the GMC AT4, but also the Ford Raptor and the TRX from Ram. Now we have reviewed all of them. You can check them out on our channel. All these trucks are super capable. So you have to decide what works right for you. Check with your insurance company. Of course, the price is always a critical factor as well. But I have to say, having this Bison Edition was important for Chevy. They needed to get out there with something that was just a little bit more, and they have done that. We have reviewed the ZR2 prior to this as well, and we did like it. They did a really nice job. If you have any comments or questions, because I did not cover every single little detail, make sure to put that in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, as well as for the website, the podcast, and our social media. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. We appreciate your support. Thank you for helping us reach over 100,000 subscribers. And we look forward to bringing you more good information, car smarts, and first looks of new vehicles. Thanks so much for watching.